Next, please. Can I help you? Yes, please. I'd like some sausage and chips. And please could you also provide a nice selection of dips. I'll have some ketchup, of course, some horseradish brown sauce, and lots of types of mustard. Ooh, I'm licking my lips. Ah, dang! I think loads of pungent mustard must have blasted to the back of my nose. I bought, I bought, it's now a swig of water, rotten salt. No, that's not up. I need a proper dowson with a hose. What makes mustard so blasted intense? And why do spiders set fire to every sense? What chemistry unquestionably treats me so aggressively? It's an emergency, I need to know the science! I'm glad you asked, cos I'm a bit of a bum when it comes to knowing facts about that sort of stuff. The mustard seed's potency begins to activate when it's crushed, releasing molecules of glucosinonate, which, when they are broken, free an enzyme called myrosinase, which is meant to prevent any animals from having a graze. Add a bit of water and you get an oily sort of mixture, which, if you touch it, can make your skin tingle and blister. If you now leave this solution to sit for a bit, it eventually enters a state where you can actually eat it. Then you add an acid to halt the flavour's further reduction, and that's your basic introduction to the stages of mustard production. Ha ah, dang! You know loads about what's getting funky at the back of my nose! But I still don't understand why people choose to ingest a thing the plant evolved as a defence against pests! I'm glad you asked, because I have a bit of a theory about why we eat things that make us sneezy and teary. The nasty nasal shock we get would be worth the price if outweighed by the benefits of taking hits from the spice. And think about it, if those enzymes work as a defense, they're also going to do some damage to our pathogens. We may have evolved a predilection for eating foods which give us stuff that wants to make us ill a beating. This could explain the greater use of spices in hot regions. The French are keener on their Dijons than are the Norwegians. Historically, pre-fridges meat would tend to get infested with microbes, the effects of which the kick from spice may have arrested. Ah, dang, you're a bit of a whiz. Now I know why I choose to send my senses into a tears. Any chance of adding a dollop of mushy peas? Let's overbind them for Basie. Next, please. 